Well, my mother and father grew up having seltzer delivery, and then I grew up having seltzer delivery, so it's been my whole life, essentially. Anything in a plastic bottle is garbage. You know, I, I keep it real, it's garbage. Like, when you drink this, like, if you ask anybody that comes through this door, when I give them fresh seltzer, they're like, ooh, my throat hurts. I'm like, that's because you're drinking real seltzer. Well, my family has always had seltzer delivery, and we had a previous seltzer delivery man who retired. And when he retired, he told us that the only other place he could ever recommend was the Brooklyn Seltzer Boys. And so we went on that recommendation from our seltzer man of 40 years. How about you, Levon? How long have you been drinking seltzer? I went to Gomberg Seltzer Burks, I'd say about 10 years ago. So it's been a fixture in my house for over 10 years. Customers are so passionate about the seltzer because it's a part of their history as well. It's just a pleasure to, to be able to bring joy to somebody. It, it, it's amazing how, how something like this actually does bring joy to somebody because it, it stirs up old memories. That's, that's what it is. It stirs up old feelings and old memories. I've had seltzer when I was a kid because I grew up on egg creams in the old candy stores. So that's where I was first introduced to it, it was, was through the egg cream. I was probably five years old. My dad took a place called John's Candy Store and they had seltzer bottles and they would make egg creams right in front of you. And as a child, you were fascinated because you were like, it was, you never seen that before. And he's, you know, with the pretzel, with the pretzel rods and all that. A life. It's, I, I only drink seltzer, so it, it, it means me being hydrated. It, there's it's not a better drink on the planet. Seltzer, to me, is tradition. And when our customers see these bottles, they think of the memories that they had with the bottles on the table from their parents and their grandparents, and it, it is a tradition uh, uh, that a lot of families have just using these old bottles uh, all the time. The fact that they're in business, keeping this alive is important to the people that, you know, you give this to a regular person, they're like, oh cool, it's seltzer, but the people who really love it, they really love it. You know, it's a fixture. So it's like keeping that history alive with, with anything. So, you know, a lot of people throw history away or history gets lost to time. So there's caretakers of history. Seltzer boys are a caretaker of history. forever and he's going to drink seltzer and his kids will drink seltzer and more of the world will start ordering seltzer from Brooklyn Seltzer Boys because it's better for the environment and they make the best seltzer with the proper bite, the proper bubble bite. That's like, that's like asking someone, you know, will you drink soda for the rest of your life? Like it's like, it, I don't ever thought of that. I would hope that anybody who's considering taking seltzer would take seltzer and introduce it to your children and let it be a part of their lives so that they could be as passionate about it and talk about, when, as they get older, they could talk about having seltzer when they were children and having those memories and passing it along to their children and their children's children which is what has happened in the past, let it continue for generations.